All right, everybody, it finally arrived. The WPL tractor transporter, the B36-3 for the E1. Uh, we've been waiting uh, a couple weeks for it now. Uh, it finally came in the mail, so we want to unbox it and get this thing out and see what it looks like. Alright, it comes with your little bag of goodies, the instruction manual as usual, and let's open this box up and see what we got. Alright, the controller is in the top. Just gonna be your standard UPL controller. There is the switch for the uh, unloading gear or unloading ramps in the back. Just a standard WPL controller. All right, here is the top part and the trailer split into two with some connections there. Does have some landing legs. And some sand shoes on there, so it is flexible. It can go on some uneven terrain there. Has a spare tire, uh, super hard. And it's held in with a Phillips screw in there. But the tire is really hard. Here's the other portion of the trailer back here. Again, hard tires. Uh, they don't look like the normal WPL tires that come, but there they are, and you've got some plastic seesaws. So I don't think you can do any upgrades to this trailer as far as um, tires or anything until they come out with some type of new seesaw or you get some other tires because it's going to be really close there um, if you go any bigger. But it does have slight articulation, but really just enough to get you on some hard running ground. The servo's in here, and this is going to be your servo arm that actuates your ramps. Uh, that is the spare tire. It's the RTR soft tire on that one. Got some stickers. Here is the actual truck itself. Get this out of the way. Has opening doors, just like all the other WPLs. It has this fifth wheel on here with some rollers. And it has a little lock, locking pin or whatever. And that's where your power is gonna go to your trailer there. Uh, you got metal springs on the front and back, plastic shocks, and you got the plastic seesaw back here with plastic axles, so you could probably upgrade this truck to the metal seesaw. Uh, we'll compare it to our other WPL B-Series truck. And they're about the same scale. Not too much of a difference here. A little bit taller on the B36-3, but overall length is about the same. So uh, around the 116 scale that most WPLs are. We have a spot back here for LED lights, but there are no LED lights in there. Uh, some painted orange icons. And inside here you have your new battery. That is the new standard charger that they're sending. It's a four pin. So we're gonna get this battery charged up and get this trailer together. All right guys, being an RTR, there's very little to assemble here. You just snap on the mirrors and snap on the snorkel there. 
The doors don't seem to be staying closed extremely well. So hopefully they don't pop open when we're driving. But we ran into our very first problem already with this model. Kind of a little disappointment. Um, one, we got two front springs and only one rear spring. So don't know what's up with that. And we are missing the screws for the trailer. So we have no screws for the trailer. Uh, we're gonna find some additional screws that we have laying around to put in here for now, but we will be emailing WPL to see what the deal with that is. But other than that, they kind of just, everything kind of just snaps together, it's self-explanatory. The instructions are not that great as usual. All right, there it is completed. It has proportionate steering and proportionate throttle. And the coolest feature of this thing is the dropping of the ramps. All right, now we'll get the E1 started up and get it on there. It's nice, loads up well. It has really good turn radius. Uh, with the trailer on it as far as not getting jackknifed. But yeah, the E1 sits on there pretty nice. We'll offload it real quick. issues offloading and we've got a 118th Humvee we'll show you for reference all right there's the Humvee on there even being 118th it still sits pretty well on there but it does roll around a little bit because that's not an RC it's just a uh, model we'll see if we can get both of them on there all right we were able to fit the Humvee and tank on the trailer Wouldn't recommend it. It it's not it doesn't struggle, but when you go over bumps and everything, it is a, a little bit of a chore because that Humvee weighs a couple pounds of solid metal, and then we have the metal upgrade tracks on the um, tank as well as a sound system and a smoke system. But overall, uh, really nice, cool RTR trailer. Everything still works like normal. Get that down, flip that switch on. No issues coming off. And as well as the Humvee, can roll off of it too.
All right, we're gonna show you the other cool feature of this RC. It's disconnecting the trailer. So all we have to do is go ahead and disconnect the servo wire, hold this little um, lever out, and drive away. Now to hook it back up, all you gotta do is line it back up and slam it in, and it'll hook right back up. Make sure you raise your legs back up and hook your servo back up for your ramps. All right, well that about wraps it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, smash the like button, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next video.